Hey guys, we are very, very close. So if you're in year 11, this is what you should be doing. Okay, first of all, if you haven't started yet, it is not too late. It is never too late to start revision. You should never be in a position where you go, oh, it's too late to start, I'm not going to even bother. Obviously, I hope you've started like months and months ago, but if you haven't started yet, start now, please, please. And at this point, we are so close. It's like less than a month away until the exams. At this point, I'm afraid it's just all about hard work, but you will be rewarded in the end. Hard work does get rewarded. Putting that time, putting that effort in now will result in good GCSE grades for you, I promise. You'll get your reward in the summer with a long, long relaxing summer break and then in August hopefully you'll be smiling on the can't remember what day it is in August, when you actually get your bits of paper. And what I want you to do is look at that bit of paper and go, yeah, that's the grade that I deserved. That's the grade that reflected the amount of hard work that I put in. But while you're doing all of this hard work, you need to revise smart. There is no point just sitting there and reading and reading and reading your revision guide and colouring it in with your highlighter pens and pretending you are revising because I'm afraid you are just kidding yourself. If you want to know how to revise properly, go and watch my now ridiculously long playlist on how to revise properly. Um, but just sitting there reading is, I'm afraid, I'm afraid you're just kidding yourself. So please, please, please don't do that. Work hard, but work smart. And when I say work hard and work smart, I don't mean working so hard you fall over. And I don't mean just sitting in one place for hours and hours and hours on end doing one subject. You need to work in short chunks and you need to give yourself a break. Now I know at this point you're really, really stressed, you've got a million things to do, you've got pressure coming from all sides. It can be hard to take that break, but it is really, really important that you do this. So please, please, please promise me, you'll go and look at the revision playlist, work out how to write properly, make your timetable, and take those breaks. Your brain cannot cope with just doing physics for hours and hours and hours on end. It just can't cope with it. Your brain needs to take a break. If you want to revise smart, if you want to revise better, you will take those breaks. Your brain will appreciate it for you, from you, rather. Even though I know sometimes in those little five minute breaks, it might feel like you're slacking off, but they're really, really important. Make sure you are not missing any bits out. If you don't have a timetable for the next few weeks, get one sorted. Um, make sure you're covering every subject that you need to cover. Make sure your English and maths are high priority and that you've got absolutely everything covered, that you're not missing something out, that you're not skipping a subject because it's not your favorite, so why are you going to bother? It is still important. You are still going to sit and examine it, so please, 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 Get your timetable sorted, make sure you're covering everything. The other thing you need to make time for, and I know this is gonna seem hard, I know you're not gonna like this, but with the pressure coming from everywhere and you've got so much stuff to do, I completely understand that. Make sure you are eating properly, make sure you are sleeping properly, and make sure you are getting exercise. I know these things don't feel like they're important at the moment, but they really, really are. They are going to help your vision. Even if it doesn't feel like it's helping your vision, I promise you, eating properly, sleeping properly, and getting exercise is helping you out. You need to look after your mental and physical health if we're going to make it through the next couple of months in one piece. So if you are just starting your vision, or even if you're well into your vision, I just want to point out to you the, the bits that I've made that are really, really going to help you. For nearly every exam board, there is a playlist just covering the last minute things you need to do. So like whole topic, quick five questions, loads of really hard questions. Um, there are flashcards of like circuit symbols, there are flashcards of the units you need to learn. Please learn your units for physics. My year 11s 
just just hate me saying this because I say it every single lesson, but it's so 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 important. Um and by your videos so you don't even have to do it. I've done that bit for you. All you need to do is find the videos and go and watch them and then just learn your units. They're so ridiculously important. Um, and then think about your A-levels. I know this isn't a big priority for you at the moment, but make sure you are prioritising the subjects you want to do for A-level and that you're advising those ones lots, okay? We can do this, guys. I'm going to be here with you the whole way through it. And remember, once you've finished your exams, I'm still going to be massively pregnant. Um, so in a way, I kind of have it harder than you. Don't, I know you don't believe me, but I'm still going to be massively pregnant and massively uncomfortable once you finish your exams, I don't know, running around out on the beach. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be here with you the whole way. If there's anything I can do to help you out, please ask. Um, I'm working as hard as I can to help you out with anything that you need.